The lowest natural temperature ever directly recorded at ground level on Earth is 89.2 AA degrees Celsius, at the Soviet Vostok Station in Antarctica, on July 21, 1983. Analysis of satellite data has indicated a probable temperature of around 93.2 AA degrees Celsius, also in Antarctica, on August 10, 2010. However, this has not been confirmed by ground measurements. Both readings are lower than the sublimation point of carbon dioxide. Lower temperatures have been achieved in laboratories, including a record low temperature of 100 APK, or 1.0 AA. A10 Atanaka in 1999. On January 21, 1838, a recording was made by the Russian merchant Neverov in Yakutsk of a 60 AA degree Celsius. On January 15, 1885, H. Wilde reported that a temperature of a 68 AA degree Celsius was noted in Bakoyansk. The next reliable measurement was made during the 1957 season at the Amundsen Euro Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica yielding a 73.6 AA degree Celsius on May 11 and a 74.5 AA degree Celsius on September 17. A subsequent record of a 88.3 AA degree Celsius, on August 24, 1960, held the record until a temperature of a 89.2 AA degree Celsius was measured at the Soviet Vostok Station, on the Antarctic Plateau, on July 21, 1983. This remains the record for a directly recorded temperature. A 2009 study estimated that under exceptional climate conditions similar to those recorded at Vostok in 1983, temperatures higher on the plateau around Domargus could potentially drop as low as a 95 AA degree Celsius. On August 10, 2010, Landsat 8 observations measured a surface temperature of a 93.2 AA degree Celsius at 81.8 a degree S 59.3 a degree E, along a ridge between Dome Argus and Dome Fuji, at 3,900 m elevation. The result was reported at the 46th Annual Meeting of the American Geophysical Union in San Francisco, in December 2013. It is a provisional figure, and may be subject to revision. The value may not be listed as the record coldest temperature as it was measured by remote sensing satellites and not by ground-based thermometers, unlike the 1983 record. The temperature announced reflects that of the ice surface, while the Vostok readings measured the air above the ice, and so the two are not directly comparable. However, it is clear that the real temperature at the site is lower than that recorded at Vostok in 1983. Laboratory cooling, early. In 1904 Dutch scientist Heike Merlingons created a special lab in Leiden with the aim of producing liquid helium. In 1908 he managed to lower the temperature to less than 4 degrees above absolute zero, to less than a 269 a degree Celsius. Only in this exceptionally cold state will helium liquefy, the boiling point of helium being at a 268.94 a degree Celsius. Kamerlingunz received a Nobel Prize for his achievement. Unz's method relied upon depressurizing the subject gases, causing them to cool. This follows from the first law of thermodynamics. Where U equals internal energy, Q equals heat added to the system, W equals work done by the system. Consider a gas in a box of set volume. If the pressure in the box is higher than atmospheric pressure, then upon opening the box our gas will do work on the surrounding atmosphere to expand. As this expansion is adiabatic and the gas has done work. Now as the internal energy has decreased so has the temperature. Modern, as of November 2000, nuclear spin temperatures below 100 pK were reported for an experiment at the Aalto University's low temperature lab. However, this was the temperature of one particular type of motion a euro a quantum property called nuclear spin a euro not the overall average thermodynamic temperature for all possible degrees of freedom. At such low temperatures, the concept of temperature becomes multifaceted since molecular motion cannot be assumed to average out across degrees of freedom. The corresponding peak emission will be in radio waves, rather than in the familiar infrared so it is very inefficiently absorbed by neighboring atoms, making it difficult to reach thermal equilibrium. The current apparatus for achieving low temperatures has two stages. The first utilizes a helium dilution refrigerator to get to temperatures of millikelvins, 
Then the next stage uses adiabatic nuclear demagnetization to reach picker kelvins. References World Record in Low Temperatures Retrieved May 5, 2009 A. ABC Nina Stepanova On the Lowest Temperatures on Earth NOAA Retrieved December 10, 2013 A. World, Lowest Temperature World Meteorological Organization Retrieved December 10, 2013 A. Turner, J. Anderson, P. Lachlan Cope, T. Colwell, S. Phillips, T. Kirch Gallisner, A. L. Marshall, G. J. King, J. C. Rosa Girdle, T. Vaughan, D. G. Lagun, B. Or, a record low surface air temperature at Vostok Station, Antarctica. Journal of Geophysical Research 114 DOI 10.1029 slash 2009 JD012104A. Open access copy, NASA USGS Landsat 8 satellite pinpoints coldest spots on Earth. NASA. December 9, 2013. Retrieved December 10, 2013. A, A B coldest spot on Earth identified by satellite. BBC. December 9, 2013. Retrieved December 10, 2013. A, World Record Cold in Antarctica. Use A today. December 9, 2013. Retrieved December 10, 2013. A, HTTP, www Nobel Prize Org Isics 1913 slash, the experimental methods and results are presented in detail in Torno A New Tyler Euro Unregistered Trademark SDSC. Thesis which can be accessed from Altodluk. The Anivasitia Euro Unregistered Trademark S press release on its achievement is here, see also, Absolute Zero, Timeline of Low Temperature Technology, Dilution Refrigerator, Adiabatic Demagnetization, List of Weather Records Lowest Temperatures Ever Recorded, List of Weather Records Highest Temperatures Ever Recorded, Orders of Magnitude, External Links, Details of HUT Experiment including details of the cryostat.